Five things to avoid if you are taking Viagra, Sildenafil. Have you noticed anything unusual while using Sildenafil? Ever wondered if certain everyday habits could be impacting its effectiveness or even causing unexpected side effects? You're not alone. In fact, over 30 million men in the United States use Sildenafil to address various health concerns. Yet, studies show that most people are unaware of several common factors that could weaken the medication's effect or lead to uncomfortable and even dangerous reactions. Sildenafil has undoubtedly transformed the lives of millions, making a real difference in their health and quality of life. However, few realize that it's sensitive to certain foods, medications, and lifestyle choices, which can interact with the drug in ways that may reduce its effectiveness or cause issues. So, whether you've just started taking sildenafil or have been using it for a while, knowing these specific things to avoid can help you get the most out of it, safely and effectively. Stick around to learn how small changes can make a big difference in your experience with sildenafil. We'll walk you through five crucial things to avoid, some of which may surprise you. Ready to find out what they are? Let's dive right in. To emphasize the potential dangers of combining sildenafil, Viagra, with alcohol, let's incorporate a real-life cautionary tale. 1. Alcohol Consumption When taking sildenafil, one of the most crucial things to avoid, or at least severely limit, is alcohol. This isn't just a mild precaution, it can be a life-saving guideline. Sildenafil works by relaxing blood vessels and increasing blood flow to specific areas of the body, which is essential for achieving its intended effects. But alcohol impacts blood vessels as well, often in unpredictable and dangerous ways. When combined, the risk of severe side effects, including life threatening complications, escalates significantly. Alcohol is a depressant that affects the central nervous system. In moderate to high amounts, it dilates blood vessels, lowering blood pressure. This effect is similar to what sildenafil does, meaning that combining the two can result in a drastic drop in blood pressure leading to severe dizziness, fainting, and even heart complications. Imagine standing up too quickly after a few drinks while on sildenafil, you might suddenly feel disoriented or at risk of blacking out, unable to control the rapid drop in your blood pressure. Tragically, this risk is not just theoretical. In a widely reported case, a 41-year-old man passed away after combining sildenafil with alcohol. This man, who otherwise seemed healthy, had taken sildenafil to enhance his experience and had also consumed a moderate amount of alcohol. The combination led to a sudden drop in blood pressure, causing him to lose consciousness. By the time emergency help arrived, it was too late. This tragic case illustrates just how severe the interaction between alcohol and sildenafil can be, even in seemingly healthy individuals. This caution is strongly supported by medical data. Studies show that men who consume alcohol while taking sildenafil report up to 50% more side effects, including dizziness, lightheadedness, and rapid drops in blood pressure, compared to those who avoid alcohol while on the medication. According to research from the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism NAAA, even moderate alcohol intake can delay how the body absorbs medications like sildenafil, reducing its effectiveness and increasing the risk of sudden adverse reactions. Additionally, the Mayo Clinic reports that alcohol's long-term effects on cardiovascular health can impair sildenafil's function over time, making it less effective while increasing the risk of severe complications. For those who enjoy social drinking, it may feel unrealistic to avoid alcohol entirely. However, there are ways to reduce risks significantly. One key approach is to limit drinking on days when you plan to take sildenafil and to choose low-alcohol options, like a single glass of wine or a light beer, instead of cocktails or high-proof spirits. Staying hydrated is essential, alcohol dehydrates the body, which can worsen sildenafil's side effects. Drink a full glass of water between alcoholic beverages to lessen this impact. If you know you're going to take sildenafil later, it's best to avoid alcohol for several hours beforehand. What many people don't realize is that alcohol doesn't just increase side effects in the moment, it can gradually lessen sildenafil's effectiveness. Long-term alcohol consumption is associated with poor cardiovascular health, reduced blood vessel elasticity, and lower nitric oxide levels in the blood each of which can diminish sildenafil's efficacy. Regular drinking, therefore, might weaken the medication's positive effects over time, making it less reliable for achieving the desired outcomes. If you'd like to avoid alcohol but still want to enjoy social settings, 
mocktails or alcohol-free beer and wine can be excellent alternatives. Many bars and restaurants offer beautifully crafted mocktails that taste great and allow you to socialize without risking your health. By making this simple choice, you'll avoid the dangerous side effects and ensure that sildenafil works as safely and effectively as possible. While it's clear that alcohol and sildenafil can be a risky combination, it's not the only thing to watch out for. Next up, we'll discuss a surprising, everyday drink that can also interfere with sildenafil's effectiveness in unexpected ways. 2. Grapefruit and Grapefruit Juice When it comes to using sildenafil, another key item to avoid is grapefruit and grapefruit juice. This is something that many people may not realize, but grapefruit contains specific compounds that can interact with how your body processes medications, including sildenafil. What seems like an innocent, healthy fruit can actually pose significant risks when combined with certain drugs, potentially leading to side effects or making the medication less effective. Grapefruit is rich in chemicals known as furanocoumarins. These compounds inhibit an enzyme in the liver called CYP3A4, which is responsible for breaking down many medications, including sildenafil. When you eat grapefruit or drink grapefruit juice, these compounds can interfere with this enzyme, slowing down how your body metabolizes sildenafil. As a result, the drug stays in your bloodstream longer than it's supposed to, which can lead to an increased risk of side effects. This effect doesn't just last for a few minutes after consuming grapefruit, it can impact your body's metabolism of sildenafil for up to 24 hours, sometimes even longer. According to research by the National Institutes of Health NIH, grapefruit can increase the concentration of sildenafil in the bloodstream by as much as 23 to 49 percent when consumed within a few hours of taking the medication. This means that even a small serving of grapefruit juice can significantly intensify the medication's effects, leading to side effects like headache, flushing, low blood pressure, and dizziness. Some studies even indicate that regularly consuming grapefruit while taking medications metabolized by CYP3A4 can lead to more severe reactions over time. The FDA has issued warnings on several medications affected by grapefruit, emphasizing that even small amounts can have substantial impacts. If you enjoy citrus fruits, consider alternatives like oranges, lemons, or limes, which do not contain the same enzyme-inhibiting compounds as grapefruit. These fruits are a safer choice and will not interfere with how your body metabolizes sildenafil. Also, check ingredient lists on juice products, as some may contain small amounts of grapefruit juice even if it's not a primary ingredient. For example, certain citrus drinks or fruit blends might include grapefruit to enhance flavor, so it's worth reading labels carefully. One little known fact is that grapefruit can interfere with over 85 different medications. This includes not only sildenafil but also blood pressure medications, anti-anxiety drugs, and certain cholesterol-lowering statins. The FDA has published guidelines advising patients to avoid grapefruit when taking any drugs that are metabolized by CYP3A4. If you're taking multiple medications along with sildenafil, it's particularly important to avoid grapefruit, as it could amplify the side effects of multiple drugs at once. If you're looking for a refreshing alternative, try water with lemon or lime, or even a flavored herbal tea. Many people find that adding lemon slices or a splash of juice can be a satisfying alternative to grapefruit juice. Additionally, herbal teas like hibiscus or green tea offer unique flavors without the enzyme-inhibiting properties of grapefruit. This simple substitution helps reduce the risk of interaction with sildenafil, allowing it to work effectively without added complications. While grapefruit is a surprising interaction that many people overlook, there's another factor you'll want to watch out for, one that affects not just medications but your overall energy and health. Let's move on to our next item on the list. 3. High-fat meals Another essential point to consider when taking sildenafil is to avoid consuming it with high-fat meals. Foods rich in fats, such as cheeseburgers, fried foods, creamy sauces, and heavy desserts, might seem harmless enough but they can actually hinder sildenafil's effectiveness. High-fat meals affect the absorption rate of the medication, delaying its effects and sometimes even reducing its overall impact. When you eat a meal high in fats, your digestive system slows down as it works to break down and process the fat content. This slowed digestion impacts how quickly other substances, including medications, are absorbed into your bloodstream. For sildenafil, which typically starts to work within 30 to 60 minutes, a high-fat meal can delay the onset of effects by up to two hours. 
In other words, if you take sildenafil after a heavy, fatty meal, you may find that it takes much longer to work or that its effects are diminished. Research from the Journal of Clinical Pharmacology shows that the absorption rate of sildenafil can be reduced by as much as 29% when taken with a high-fat meal compared to taking it on an empty stomach or with a light meal. The study highlighted that the fatty content in meals acts as a barrier, delaying how fast the medication can reach optimal blood concentration levels. Other studies suggest that this delayed onset may lead to inconsistent effects, which can be particularly frustrating for those relying on the medication for planned events or timely results. If you plan to take sildenafil, consider scheduling lighter, lower-fat meals around the time you take the medication. Opt for lean proteins like grilled chicken, fish, or turkey, paired with vegetables or a simple salad. These types of meals digest faster, allowing the medication to enter your bloodstream more efficiently. Additionally, avoid foods like heavy pasta dishes with cream sauces, fried items, or rich desserts if you want to achieve the best results with sildenafil. Interestingly, high-fat diets can impact the effectiveness of not only sildenafil but many other types of medications as well, from antibiotics to blood pressure medications. A high-fat meal slows down gastric emptying, the rate at which your stomach empties into the small intestine, prolonging the time it takes for any medication to be absorbed. As a result, certain medications, especially those designed to act quickly, may become less effective or take longer to kick in if consumed alongside high-fat foods. If you're unsure about what to eat, consider simple and nutritious meals such as a chicken and vegetable stir-fry, without heavy oils or sauces, or a light soup with lean protein. If you prefer a plant-based meal, go for a vegetable and quinoa bowl, as quinoa is high in fiber and protein but low in fat. Smoothies made with water or almond milk, instead of whole milk, and fresh fruits can also be a great, light option if you need a quick meal. Now that we've covered the effects of high-fat meals, there's yet another common substance that could interfere with sildenafil's effectiveness, one that you may encounter daily without thinking twice. Let's dive into our next tip on what to avoid when taking this medication. 4. Certain Medications One often overlooked factor to consider when taking sildenafil is the interaction with certain other medications. Sildenafil doesn't exist in isolation in the body, it can be affected by and can affect the workings of other drugs you may be taking. Some medications, especially those for blood pressure, chest pain, and other heart conditions, can create dangerous interactions when combined with sildenafil. Medications such as nitrates, often prescribed for heart-related chest pain, can have severe interactions with sildenafil. Nitrates work by dilating blood vessels, and since sildenafil also lowers blood pressure by relaxing blood vessels, the combination can result in a sudden, drastic drop in blood pressure. This reaction can cause symptoms like dizziness, fainting, and even potentially life-threatening consequences, including heart attack or stroke. Even if you're not taking nitrates, it's crucial to check with your doctor if you're on medications for hypertension, certain antifungals, or antibiotics, as these two can interact with sildenafil. According to the American Heart Association, mixing nitrates with sildenafil can drop blood pressure to dangerous levels within minutes. In studies, blood pressure reductions of up to 40 to 50 percent have been reported when these medications are combined. Research from the Mayo Clinic has also found that certain other drugs, like alpha blockers used to treat high blood pressure and prostate issues, can similarly amplify the effects of sildenafil, creating a compounded effect that raises the risk of low blood pressure. If you're taking medication for any heart condition, blood pressure, or even certain medications for HIV, make it a priority to consult with your healthcare provider before using sildenafil. They may advise you on timing or suggest an alternative treatment. Sometimes, a time gap of several hours between taking your regular medication and sildenafil can reduce risks, but only under your doctor's guidance. Additionally, avoid taking sildenafil with certain over-the-counter medications like cold and flu medications or decongestants without checking labels, as they can also affect blood pressure. Apart from prescription medications, herbal supplements like St. John's wort, ginseng, and even certain amino acids like L-arginine can interact with sildenafil. St. John's wort, commonly used for mood support, can increase the metabolism of sildenafil, potentially making it less effective. On the other hand, L-arginine can amplify sildenafil's effects on blood vessels, increasing the risk of low blood pressure. If you're looking for ways to support your health while taking sildenafil safely, consult your doctor about lifestyle changes, like regular exercise or dietary adjustments, 
that may help manage conditions such as high blood pressure. These alternatives can sometimes reduce the need for certain medications or support healthier outcomes without additional drug interactions. While certain medications pose risks when combined with sildenafil, there's one more thing to watch out for that many people overlook, a seemingly innocent choice that can impact the way this medication works. Let's move on to our final point. 5. Nitrate-rich foods and supplements. One often surprising consideration when taking sildenafil is to avoid nitrate-rich foods and supplements. While we typically think of nitrates as something prescribed for heart conditions, they also exist naturally in certain foods and dietary supplements. Foods high in nitrates, like beets, spinach, and certain processed meats, along with some performance-enhancing supplements, can interact with sildenafil and potentially lead to dangerous side effects. Nitrates in foods and supplements have similar effects on the body as prescribed nitrates. They dilate blood vessels to improve blood flow. While this is beneficial for blood circulation, combining these with sildenafil, which also affects blood vessels, can lead to a substantial and sudden drop in blood pressure. This combination could result in symptoms like dizziness, lightheadedness, fainting, or, in extreme cases, more severe cardiovascular complications. A study published in the Journal of Clinical Pharmacology found that natural sources of nitrates, such as beet juice, can raise plasma nitrate levels in the bloodstream, leading to a potential overlap with medications like sildenafil. This interaction can reduce blood pressure by up to 25 to 30 percent when consumed close to taking the medication. While natural nitrates are generally safe on their own, their blood pressure-lowering effects can be amplified by sildenafil's actions, making this combination a potentially risky choice. If you're in the habit of consuming nitrate-rich foods like beets or leafy greens, try to schedule them at least a day apart from when you plan to take sildenafil. This gives your body time to process the nitrates without the risk of overlapping effects. Also, avoid supplements marketed as nitric oxide boosters, commonly used for workouts, as they often contain nitrate-rich compounds intended to increase blood flow, which can dangerously amplify sildenafil's effects. Nitrates are found not only in obvious sources like beets but also in certain packaged foods, including cured meats and some sports drinks that use celery or beetroot extract for coloring or flavoring. When reading labels, be cautious of ingredients like beetroot powder or celery powder, which are often high in natural nitrates. If you want to support cardiovascular health without nitrates, opt for potassium-rich foods like bananas and sweet potatoes, which help regulate blood pressure naturally without interacting with sildenafil. Additionally, supplements like magnesium or coke 10 are generally safer alternatives for heart health support. With all these considerations in mind, you might wonder, how seriously should we take these risks? Let's look at why it's essential to stay informed when using medications like sildenafil. Understanding the interactions between sildenafil and various foods, beverages, and medications isn't just about maximizing its effectiveness, it's about ensuring your safety. Taking sildenafil without these precautions can lead to sudden and severe health issues, as evidenced by real-world cases like the unfortunate story of a 41-year-old man who suffered a fatal heart event after combining sildenafil with alcohol, a potent example of how dangerous these interactions can be. So, if you're using sildenafil or considering it, be mindful of these critical factors. Avoid alcohol, grapefruit, high-fat meals, conflicting medications, and nitrate-rich foods to make the most of its benefits while minimizing risks. Remember, it's always wise to consult your healthcare provider to tailor advice to your specific needs. If you found this information helpful, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with others who might benefit, and let us know your thoughts or experiences in the comments. Taking precautions can mean the difference between safety and serious side effects, let's help spread the word.